Hello, this is Jeff for Budget PTCG here, and putting together a video on how to prepare a Pokemon TCG online account for the for the launch of Live, which is coming out. In particular, looking at what I've been doing to trade away extra copies of cards. But if you, if you watched the last video, you you remember that only a, a, a limited number of copies of each card will transfer over. It's the number of maximum number of playable cards you can have in one deck that will transfer over. And for most cards, you can have four copies of a, that co card in your deck. So anything above four copies of those cards will be lost. So if you have tradable copies of anything above four for most cards, you want to trade those away. So here's what I've been doing. The first step is you need to mark cards for trade, which I, is a bit tedious. So you're going to open up your collection, and under your cards for your Pokemon, your trainers, and your energy, you're going to go through and mark any cards that you have more than four copies of for trade, assuming that you have tradable copies. So here I have four cards, so I could mark for trade, but I want to keep all those. This... For Cook, I have seven copies, more than I need. So you can see here, I've marked it for trade. The double arrows, green means it's not for trade. Highlighted means it's for trade. So you, you need to go through all your cards, mark them for trade if you can. Which you've, and I've done that. It's, it's tedious, I gotta say. Um, but that, that's a very critical step. You can speed things up a little bit by sorting through quantity, or probably most to least. So you'll start out, as, once you get, because then as you go through the list, you'll get down to four copies, and then unless it's something like an A spec, where you can only have one copy of, then you can stop sorting through the list once you get down to four. So that's an important step, uh, and it'll allow me to search the trade database quickly and easily. So now, the heart of it is, is each day when I log into Pokemon at some point, I come and search for trades that I can do. So I come, trades, and then I come under cards here, and, and with the filters I say cards I'm giving that are tagged for trade, which is, I can only do that after I've marked things for trade. So I apply that, and now it's gonna go sort through its database of all the public trades out there looking for trades that include cards that I've marked for trade. And it, it's, and it, keep it acceptable trades only, therefore I won't see a bunch of trades that I, I can't do. Now, one, one negative thing I'll point out is that the sorting through the database th for the first time, it's a slow process, it takes several minutes, so we're gonna wait a little bit to see what, what the options are, but not too long. So it, it can take five minutes or more to sort through the whole, whole database. So what I often do each day is, at some point when I have the program up, I click on this, and then I go do something else in the house, and then come back to it, because we really don't want to sit here for five minutes staring at the screen. So I'm just going to uncheck the acceptable trade box, which I'll do sometimes too, I can see how, what the progress level is, because you can have trades up to 48 hours, it's up to four, almost three hours. So for, let's say, a trade that's out there, um, I'll just show you what it, so with trades, just in evaluating a trade, You'll look at what they're giving away, what I have to give, which in this case, they're a lot of my cards that I don't want to trade. Like I only have four Rillaboom copies. I don't want to do that. I you don't have any tradable copies of this, which is why I, I can't accept it. But you'll check through. The reason it came up in the search is because I do have one turf field stadium I want to trade. But if it was this and just the Rillaboom, I still wouldn't want to trade, even though I could do it because I want to keep all four Rillaboom. Now check out what I'm getting. Is it something I want? And if I want it, I get, you just go ahead and say accept. After a trade's done, you'll, you'll get a, a notification here. You want to check it, and, you're, it, and after you're going to want to check the state of the cards you've traded for whether they're still trade, whether you still want to mark for trade or not. I'll show what I mean by that. Well, let me just see. So here's one acceptable trade that's come through. So here we have a Cramomatic, which I have one tradable copy of for a Sobble, but I already have more than four Sobble, so I don't want the trade. Plus, this is a uncommon for a common, the value is not great also, so I probably wouldn't accept that card, this trade anyway at this point in time. All right, so as you trades are complete, or as you open packs, you're gonna wanna check and update the status of cards. So I have an extra copy here, you'll see a Fusion Strike pack that is locked, so I'm gonna open it, because that's all, all I can do with it. 
I already have 125 Devolving Skies packs I'm going to transfer, so I know I can open up one Fusion Strike pack. And then I'm going to search, look through it to make sure I, there's nothing else that I don't want to mark for trade now. So I open up the pack, see what I have here. Got a Pax Trout. Okay, and then what I'm going to come through is I right-click the first card, the energy, and I'm going to look to see if I want to mark anything new for trade. This is already extra copies that mark for trade. Got two copies, two copies, three copies, two copies, two, four, three, two, one. All right, so nothing here that I, I want to mark for trade. So that's fine. So, But I, but if, if there is something that now, sometimes I have four copies of a card already and one of them is tradable, now then I want to off, and I move up to five now, then I'd mark that for trade, which happens on a regular basis. So I'm not going to open another because it's tradable. I want to save that. So you want to keep your the, the tagging of tradable cards up to date. And every time a trade's complete, you need to check through because it's like it's, it's, it's a nuisance having to go through card by card and seeing what ones are tradable. You need, you need to do it, but it's not a fun process, and I don't want to have to do it again. So try to keep it up to date throughout the time. So that's it. Um, now, you know, to kind of prep your account the best you can for, for live launching, and now we just kind of wait for live. I don't expect any more videos to be posted until live comes out. Thank you.